everyone. Um, today I'm doing a video about oils. So I just, I like using oils for like different things and I realized that I have a lot and I think that they're important. So I wanted to kind of talk about them and say like which ones I like, wh what I think about them, what I use them for, and like if I'd repurchase them again because there are some that like, like were expensive and I really liked it when I had it. Like that was... I'll get into that when I get into it. Um, let's just talk about that first. So this is like the first oil that I tried and it's the Tarte Maracuja oil. And this is a little bit older. <laughs> I should probably get rid of this, but I'm not going to because I think it's still good. But um, yeah, the cap is gone and um, I really liked these. They used to have these on sale at the 21 Days of Beauty for $25. So that's when I would get it. It's a nice oil. It's nice and like hydrating and I like putting this on like before I go to bed. But um, I feel like I'm not going to repurchase this just because like I have other oils that I've tried that are a little bit less expensive than this that um, I, I like better. And my skin's kind of changed since I use this and it's not quite as dry as it used to be. So I don't think I really need this as much anymore, but it is still really good. And um, if you see it on sale at the 21 Days of Beauty and you wanted to check it out, I would recommend the, I, it's not a bad oil if you have very dry skin. Um, when I was in college, I used this a lot because like my, I think the water in Nork was different, which is where I went to college. I went to school in Nork, New Jersey, but um, yeah, it was like, I feel like the water there was a little bit different. I don't know if it was well water or something, but my hair stylist asked me if like I used, if I was a swimmer and because my hair was so dry and I wasn't, but I think maybe it dried out my face a little bit too. So yeah, this was good. If you live in like a city or somewhere where you're noticing the water is a little bit different and your hair is dry, this is probably good for that because I think that's when I used it. But um, yeah, now I don't think I need it as much. And I, it's still good. If I moved back to Nork, I would use this again. This oil I use for kind of the same thing. I would use it like before bed or even like in the day, like when I get up. And this I like a little bit better. It's the Bare Minerals Eternal Elixir. So this isn't like supposed to be like a moisturizing oil. This is supposed to be anti-aging. And, um, you know, after I turned 25, like, I kind of wanted to start using more anti-aging products. Um, I'm 26 now, so, yeah, I got this, like, last, like, when I was 25, but, like, I was almost 26 at that point, but, you know what, we don't have to talk about my age. <laughs> but anyway, um, this I, I got because I noticed that, like, when I use anti-aging, um, things, it kind of firms my skin a little bit more, and it just, it makes it feel softer because it's firmer and it's nice and um, yeah I just I liked this for that and I still like it for that. This was on sale at Ulta once. It's pretty expensive full price so I don't know if I would want this for like I think it's like $56 and like that's I mean it's good and it works but like I feel like they're like exploiting my need for like youthful skin at that point and um yeah, so I don't know if I would buy this if it wasn't on sale, but I want it again when I finish this up. So I feel like I'm using it kind of sparingly, but yeah, it's really good and I should probably just use it up because it works and I like it. <laughs> the cheapest high-end um, thing that I use before bed and like waking up just like to hydrate my face, um, this is the Julep. Boost Your Radiance Reparative Rosehip Seed Oil. This I think is $36, so I feel like that's a little bit better of a deal, and this does work really good. Um, I got this sent to me from Influencer, so that's like how I tried it. It's it's just really nice, and like it kind of leaves my skin feeling youthful again, and it does look, like my skin will look radiant when I apply this. Um, if I have no makeup on, it'll look like I have like a highlighter or something on if I just use this and I really like that in a product because then you can really tell that it is getting it is making your skin look more radiant and it is pretty good so yeah I, I like this and um yeah this is what I use this is what I've been using most lately so yeah and that oil kind of reminds me of this cover effects custom infusion drops um the only difference is this is a lot thinner then the um then the julep ones these look the same they kind of smell similar 
but this is a very like thin consistency which makes it very easy for mixing in with foundations which I find really useful because like if you have too full of a coverage foundation it's like a car going by or something but if you have too full of a coverage of foundation on my skin it gets very dry and this just helps it make it look a little bit more natural on my skin and I like it a lot for that. And yeah, I just, I like it a lot for that. These are very expensive though and you don't really get that much product in there. So I don't know. I got this with Ulta points. I might like save up Ulta points and get this again if I use it up, but I feel like I could probably use one of these lower cost alternatives instead of using this, but yeah. Okay, so now I have two drugstore products and I do have another high-end product, but that I use for something else completely, so I'll get to that too. But the Physician's Formula Bright Booster, this I usually use underneath my primer. I haven't tried mixing it with foundations. It's a little bit thicker than the Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Draw, or Custom Infusion Drops. I get those confused like all the time. It's a little bit thicker than that, but I still think it would work, but I typically use this underneath primer, and um, I like how it feels. Like, it just, it it's nice, and like, it does, I feel like it does kind of, it is kind of like a bright booster, and um, this, I mean, for the drugstore, this is expensive, but compared to those other ones, like, this is a good price. Um, this is definitely the cutest bottle of all of them, though. And, um, yeah, it just, it makes me happy to look at. So, like, that makes me want to use it more. And, yeah, I, I want to try this, like, as my, um, before bed and waking up oil. Um, but, yeah, I haven't done that yet, but I think it would work and I think it would be good. And this one I've only had for a few days. This is actually not really an oil, but it is a serum. It's an oil-free serum, though. So I thought I would put it in this video anyway because I thought it was an oil and this is like what inspired the video, but it's not an oil. There's no oil in it. So if you have like oily skin and you don't want to put an oil on top of it, but you still want to use a serum, this is a good one. Um, it smells better than any of the other um, oils that I've talked about because this smells like rose. So it's kind of like a perfumey type scent. Um, so, like, if you do, like, put this, like, on your hand or something, it, you kind of smell like perfume, um, and I do like that, but, um, you know, I, I've only used this a couple days. I mixed it in with my foundation today, and I, I think it worked pretty well. Um, I used it underneath, too, and then I mixed it in with, because, like, I just thought that the foundation looked very, very dry. And on camera, it looks very nice. It does look like I have, like, a bit of a glow. And I think that's mostly this product that's like contributing to that, maybe with the Prime Light uh, primer from Milani as well. But I think I think this has something to do with that because I'm using the Maybelline Superstay foundation, which is very matte, very full coverage. And this mixed with it, I think, worked pretty well. So I'm going to keep like using it that way. Um, but yeah, this, I mean, for the drugstore, this is, it's out there. It's a good option. I haven't used it enough the thing that I don't like about it is that, like, this is, like, a lotion-type consistency, so the dropper, it makes it really hard to get product out of there, um, so I wish that they just put it in, like, a different bottle, because this is basically a moisturizer in, like, a serum tube, and I don't think that that's the best for this, but... It still, I mean, it still works, and you can still get a lot out. I've had trouble with this, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's not terrible, but I've had trouble with it, I think. And last but not least, the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil. I just really like this because, like, when I take my makeup off, it's nice to have, like, something hydrating and nourishing. Like, with mascara, too, it really helps when you have, like, something hydrating that really gets it off. Um, that really, like, takes the mascara off. If you, like, really focus it on um, on your lashes, it'll be very gentle and your lashes will look fuller the next day. And, uh, yeah, I just, I like this for that. I'm almost done with it, which makes me sad because I want to, I'm probably going to end up purchasing a full size of this or another mini size or something. There was, like, a little travel set that Ulta had with this in it and some other Clinique products that I wanted to try. So I think I might get that. But um, yeah, this is really good. And this is an oil too, right? Yeah, it's cleansing oil. I just wanted to make sure it didn't say like serum or something and it was different. But yeah, this is a cleansing oil. It really does take your make off, makeup off well, especially my eye makeup. And it makes me feel nice and hydrated and I like it. 
So that is everything. I hope you guys found this useful or helpful. I'm not an expert in oils or anything. I'm just kind of like telling you what happened and when I use these and like, you know, what I think is best to use them. So just take that with what you will and um, let me know if you pick any of these up or what you think of any of these. I just kind of noticed I had like a collection of these all of a sudden and I'm like, oh, I guess I could talk about these. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys liked this video and I'll see you guys all Wednesday. Bye.